if the IMEs were around back when your band was starting out, mm -hmm. do you think that it would have helped your career? Totally. I think that it's such a great thing for people who are on independent labels to be able to be, you know, like, um, I don't want to say like in competition with other bands, but that is something that's beneficial, like, is to feel like there's a place for you to like win something. Like, um, that feeling is really great. I know that people on major labels like often have that, you know, excitement of like, maybe I'll be up for a Grammy or whatever, but it's like nobody on the independent labels like has that feeling and I feel like, or have had that feeling and now I think it's really great that there's that place. Yeah, I think we would have felt really excited to be involved, yeah. What tools have you found useful in promoting your own band? Um, well, it's funny because the teacher was like, you know, we are making so, um, that was right now. so we kind of like just missed this whole internet craze of like marketing your record and stuff. So, but I have this new project called Mini, and we have been pretty much only using the internet to like get the word out there, and that's been really great um, and exciting. But I feel like I'm learning so much. Um, just like having a Twitter account and updating that like as much as I can is like pretty much the, like best way to keep people interested, which I have realized. And um, I don't know, MySpace and kind of just like being, keeping your friendships with other people in the music industry is like really important. So, yeah. Good advice for bands out there. Yeah. How many hours a day do you spend doing social networking? Um, I don't know, I actually got rid of my Facebook account. So I don't. I I started to feel like really weird about it. I was like, it's weird. I don't want people to be so in my life. Like just seeing what other people say to you and all that is like really weird. So um, I stopped my Facebook account. So now I only Twitter, and I don't really go online to do it. I just use my phone, and I it doesn't take very long, so it's kind of just like sending a text message, so I don't really spend that much time on it anymore, but I'd probably spend like five hours a day like, um, um, just like PR for my band, like whether that's like writing emails to people or like doing interviews or like email interviews or phone interviews and stuff like that, so that's kind of takes a lot. Do you like the business end of the industry? I do. I feel like some there's sometimes where I'm like, I want to be a manager or like work in this part of the industry, because um, I feel like I know, or just like, just having been in it for as long as I have, which hasn't been that long, but like ten years, I feel like I'm like, have learned a lot and I know like when to say yes, when to say no, like who's a good person, things like that. So I feel like I want to. I would be interested. Yeah, I like that. Well, maybe the IMEs will lead you to some artists that you'll want to work with. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>